Good morning, everybody. Welcome to the vlog. It is officially September, so I whipped out that Jack Skellington hat. I am officially in the Halloween mood. After being at Disney and seeing all their Halloween decorations up, they're going full Halloween there. And uh, so I'm, I'm ready for it, man. I'm so excited. So uh, we'll get some Halloween decorations up around here soon, probably after the hurricane blows through. So uh, we'll see how it goes in the next couple days. Uh, but then also today is my stepdad's birthday. Um, and so he loves donuts. So we're going to start the morning by getting some donuts. And the boys are making some birthday cards. Okay, B. And then I. How's yours going, Jack? Papa's gonna love that. <laughs> Here we go, Ducks and Donuts, woohoo! Happy birthday! Oh, these are for me? Thank you! Oh, thank you guys. Key lime? Are you gonna get that? Yeah, I'm debating between key lime icing with lemon drizzle or key lime icing with graham cracker. Orange creamsicle, oh my gosh, I'm getting that. Quick stop at Target and look what we got. Water. For the first time in like four days, we were actually able to get it. <laughs> Everything seems like significantly calmer today than it has been the past week. But like, oh, even like the stores, like I've gone to Walmart and Target every day the past like four or five nights. There hasn't been any bread, any water, like nothing, like just empty shelves. And so today was the first time I've seen water in a store in like a week. But I think like right now, uh, most of the projections have it kind of staying right off the coast. So it doesn't look like anywhere in Florida is going to get directly hit. I mean, it could change it literally any moment. But so it seems like people are calming down a little bit. Um, and then also just because it's going off the coast like doesn't necessarily mean we're in the clear because it's a category 5 storm now Like so even if it's off the coast, we could still get hundred mile an hour. Oh, yeah We're still gonna get we're still gonna get like a tropical storm or worse. Yeah, we'll see like but we are at like the lowest part of the cone Which is I mean it stinks because we have like friends and family all the way up the coast, you know, but So hopefully it just kind of stays moving east so no one gets it well, right, right now we're kind of like right on the edge of the cone and like every time they update it, it's like in the cone, out of the cone, in the cone, out of the cone. <laughs> yeah. Hope, I, like, I kind of just wish it would move a little faster so we could like stop with like the guessing. Like, oh, are we safe? Are we not? Yeah, like this if it thing, sped up a little bit, it'd be nice. This thing is taking its time. Alrighty folks, so uh, we got some supplies. Now we are over at my parents' house and uh, we're gonna have a little cookout and hang out at the pool because the weather right now is beautiful before that hurricane comes, which is kind of funny because we were kind of talking about how slow it's going. It was originally supposed to hit this morning, and uh, but right now we got a beautiful day, so we're going to hit the pool. We got some hot dogs because the stores were completely out of all beef and all chicken, so no burgers, just hot dogs today. A lot of them are kind of out of meat, and they're not restocking because they're anticipating losing power. Monkeys! 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 You doing monkey? Huh. Monkey on the wall? Huh. Good job, buddy. You're doing great. The Millennium Falcon. Oh, you gonna stand up? Gotta get more in the middle. 
Get in the middle, get in the middle. Get your feet a little wider. There you go, there you go. Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! <laughs> Uh-oh, the stormtroopers are gonna bomb the ship. How is it, Jack? Good. <laughs> oh, you got cheese in your mouth. Looks like teeth. That's funny. We got some cheesy hot dogs since we couldn't have cheeseburgers. <laughs> you got cheese and onion on yours? Mm -hmm. Wow, so fancy. All right, guys. Well, we are back at home, and this hurricane cannot make up its dang mind. This thing's all over the place, and we're back in the cone. They actually uh, issued mandatory evacuations for Martin and Paul Beach County on the East Coast. So that's not for us. We're not under mandatory evacuation because we're West. Uh, but people in our county are evacuating. So I guess we're kind of back up in the air about what we're going to do again. If Because uh, it was definitely looking like it was going to kind of stay off uh, kind of uh, East of us and go North. And now it's looking like it could possibly turn in a little closer than we thought. So uh, I'm in the backyard. I'm going to get kind of everything out of the backyard that could <laughs> end up flying into our windows. And uh, Stephanie's in the house. She's uh, unpacking our bag from our Disney trip because we just got back. And uh, we're going to wash all the clothes, repack the clothes, have a bag ready to go. And uh, if it looks like it's going to come closer to us, uh, probably tomorrow morning we'll leave and go west. So we're still kind of up in the air because this thing is just back and forth, indecisive where it wants to go. So right now I'm just kind of picking up the backyard here. neighbors are out putting up their shutters but we don't have shutters at our house which is why we won't stay if the storm is gonna hit us however we do have a new roof since the last hurricane so hopefully that should stay intact <laughs> hurricane Irma destroyed our roof so we have a new roof since then so that thing better hold up <laughs> Some of the, I mean, think about this for a second. It ties the Labor Day storm in 1935 as the strongest storm to make landfall in the Atlantic Basin. So very historic storm, <clears throat> very dangerous, and we're really keeping an eye on this because, you know, you start looking at these impacts, it's not going away anytime soon. Well, Ken, the, the sort of million dollar question at this point is that of the stall and the turn. And uh, how confident do you feel about the model guidance uh, showing, uh, pretty consistently showing that it will in fact turn to the north, but uh, you know, how close could it get to the coast? What so basically, storm's coming right at us, and what's supposed to happen is it's just going to stop and chill for a minute, and it's going to be like, nah, I'm going to go up here. <laughs> it just kind of turn away from us. One, one thing that's reassuring, though, is that you know that the weatherman is always right. <laughs> Guys, we were down here at Deerfield Beach. Seemed like a good place to come with a hurricane coming. Get that last little bit of the beach before it gets windy around here. It is a little windy. You probably pick up some of that wind, but yeah, the palm trees are blowing. It's getting windy, but still a lot of activity down here on the beach. This storm is not keeping anyone away. It is, uh, everyone's jamming down here. All right, JB's on the beach. There's a boat hanging in the air. How cool is that? What's up guys? Look at this, we got a table literally right on the beach. How beautiful is this?
Yeah.